In this video, we're going to install the iBlinds Smart Motor into our existing blinds, which will then make them smart because we'll be able to add them to SmartThings, and then anything added to SmartThings automatically goes into Alexa, so we will have full voice control over our blinds. All right, so we are over in our common area downstairs, and you can see we have one blind there, one blind there, we have one here, and one here. Now I've already installed the smart controller on all of these blinds, so we can go ahead and go into smart things, and I put them all in one group. So if we just go into the devices, you can see that all of our blinds are right here. So when we go into the blind, you can see um, it's going to open the blind, it's going to tell you what the battery is, and you can give the options of open and close, and you can also change the shade level. So you can see that is blind one, and how I labeled these is I just did one, two, three, four, so that way it can easily control them individually if we wanted to. So if I wanted to say close that blind over there, I can just tap on the close in the SmartThings app, and it's automatically going to close that blind. So you can see that one is closed and then all the rest are still open. But you can also control these as a group. If we go over to our Amazon Alexa app, what I did is after you add these into SmartThings, they automatically come into Alexa. So I just created a group on the device tab here. And then I just added all four of these blinds. All four of these blinds I want to control together typically, or have the option to control them individually, which is still an option when you create this group. So I named this blinds. That way when we say open blinds or close blinds, it will actually open and close all of the blinds. So we can see that that one is already closed. So if I just say, Alexa, close blinds. You can see that one is closing and that one and then that one. So you can see that's super convenient. And I think this is actually one of my favorite smart home devices that I've bought so far. But this is so cool because we can really control all of this stuff with our voice. We can have all the blinds shut when we leave our house. Um, we can have them all shut at a certain time at night. That way everything is closed and secure. So let's go ahead and get that other one installed in the master bedroom. All right, so now let's just take a look at what comes in the box. Right on top, we have the instructions right here, and then we have like an addition to the instructions here. And this is the actual blind motor right here. So this just comes out of here, and this is what the motor looks like here. And you can see there's a hole that goes straight through. Um, there's a couple spots to plug in some wires over here and I'll show you what all that does, um, and then a couple buttons at the top as well. Um, we also have a power cable. So if you don't get the solar um, version of these, you would just take this long wire, plug it into your blinds, it will go all the way down to like an outlet, and you can plug those in. One charge, they say, lasts about five to six months, depending on how much you use your blinds, of course. Um, I did get the solar panels, um, which is in this box here. All right, so this is what the solar panel looks like. Now it does come with these clips right here. And how this works is this would clip onto your solar panel and then this would hang on the back of the blinds. What I did is I decided to use like a double-sided tape and tape it right to the window. Um, that way it's closer to the window. It actually looks a little bit better because it's back, not so close to the edge of the blinds. And it seems to be working fine as far as getting a charge and in the accessory box you have this part right here and what this will do is it will stick down and it'll basically replace where my strings are and this button you can do manual stuff with this button um, we also have the battery pack so this will plug into the motor and this is how your blinds are going to get power we have this right here um, i don't need these for my blinds but depending how deep your blinds are you may need to add this to the bottom of your motor that way when the shaft goes through, it is level. You have to have it level so it can work. So you have a couple different shafts right here and you can just exchange these as you need. 
because different blinds have different shape and size shafts. You got an Allen wrench that comes with it, and that's if you have to change the shaft. And then you have this little piece right here, which will hold um, this um, manual control piece in place when you install it in the blinds. And then the last thing here is just a power brick, and then you would just use that to charge the blinds if you did not get the solar kit. Now the very first thing that we want to do is we want to take the power cord that came with this and the power brick, plug this end into our motor right here, take our battery pack, and this has the red end right here, and that just goes into the red end on the motor. And then the most important thing right here, this has to be on the straight line so power can flow from the USB cord into the battery. And what all we're doing here is we're just going to charge up our battery. And we just wanna plug this in now because once we start um, taking apart the blinds and doing all the rest of the setup, this will be charging during that time. Okay, so the next step is just to remove your blinds. Obviously you want to tilt them so they're completely flat, move them all the way up, remove your valance, and then flip the clips on the side so you can pull the whole thing off. I'm gonna do that really quick. All right, so we have our blinds removed completely now, and I have just put them on the bed. You just wanna put them somewhere they're, where they're gonna be supported so you don't actually damage them while you're doing this. Um, over here on the left side, we have the part that tilts the blinds. So this is the part that we're actually gonna be removing right here. On this side, what we need to do is remove the cap on this side. That way we can slide this rail right here out that end so we can put all of the stuff that we need to put over here on this end. All right, now for me, what I found is using a screwdriver like this is the easiest way to get these caps out. You can try with your fingers. This one actually came out actually very easy. And we're just gonna slide this rail out. And we're just gonna slide it out so we have enough room to put in the motor and everything at the other end. All right, so on this other end is where basically all of the action is gonna happen from now on. What we need to do is actually remove this part right here that tilted the blinds before because we're not gonna need that any longer. Also on this end, we want to remove this cap as well. So you are going to need some scissors because on the end, um, you know, these have these balls. Now you could actually like untie these, but I'm just going to cut them off and then we can pull the strings out. And you do want to keep all of this stuff. I'm just going to put it back in the eye blind box. And now what we need to do is just remove this part. I found the easiest way to do this is just to like pull back on the blinds a little bit. That will release the back. And then you'll be able to just slide this right out. So there you go. We have our old tilt mechanism here, and I'm gonna take all of this extra stuff here, and I'm just gonna put it in the blind box. That way we keep it all together. All right, so the next step is just to take this part right here. This is the part that will give you manual control over the blinds, and also has the charging port here as well. So what you wanna do is when you put it in, just have the wire come out the end of the blind and you just put it into the hole that is already here. Now this tiny little piece right here is very important. That's going to hold this in place. So we just need to put it in the hole and then there is the flat part for the USB and the round part for the push button. And we just need to line that up. All right, now once you have it lined up, you kinda wanna just grab it from the top and the bottom and just push as hard as you can. Just squeeze it together. And what that's going to do is sandwich this onto your existing blinds. And when you're done, it shouldn't wiggle at all. Okay, so now the next step is to figure out which of these that we need. What fits our blinds? So if we just try and push this onto there, it's definitely not this one here. So we're just gonna throw that to the side. There we go. So we know this is the one that we need because this one is square and we need the other one. So 
What I did here is I just actually took the Allen wrench that came with it and I cut it off and then I just put it onto my drill. And you just take out these four Allen head screws and then this is the part that we're going to replace. So all we have to do is lift this out, remove this white part here, and you just put the white part back on just like it was on the other one, and put the silver part on the back, install it all back to the way it was. Just make sure that your gears and everything are lined up. If you put this on backwards, it won't line up properly. And then we just put the top back on. Make sure that the buttons here on the back are here with the buttons on the back of this. Just the little white things there. All right, so the next step is uh, we're going to put this sticky 3M tape onto the back of our battery. And also what I like to do is plug everything into the motor at this point. That way you don't have to mess with it when it's down in here. Now before we actually install this into the head rail here, what I like to do is connect it to smart things. That way we know there's not going to be any issues. All right, so once you go into your smart things app, um, you probably end up on the favorites page here. Just go into devices. This is going to show you your, your rooms. Uh, I'm just going to put it in my blinds room that I made for this video. And then I'm going to put them into their actual rooms later on. Just tap the plus sign at the top and tap on add device. Now what we need to do on the uh, motor itself is tap the IN slash EX right here. It's the button on the left side and we're just going to tap this three times. Before we do that you need to be sure that your power is on. So turn this to be with the line to be on. And now we're going to go ahead and tap this three times. And now we're just going to tap scan nearby at the bottom of the SmartThings app. All right, and there you go. It popped up. It says Z-Wave device. And then it says secure setup. So what you want to do is tap on the secure setup right there. And then on the bottom of your motor, there is a QR code. Um, so we're going to tap the room. And I'm just going to put this in the blinds room for now just to keep them all together and tap on done at the top and then tap on the next. Now here is where it's asking for the QR code so you just want to take your phone and get that QR code scanned and now it's going to say verifying code. Alright now you can see success home blinds added. And then you can tap on done at the bottom of the screen. And for some reason, I don't know why this happens, but in the new app, I can never get past this section here. Um, so we're just going to exit out of the app here, go back into the SmartThings app, and let's see if that has been added. So it did add the blind, but it did not put in our name. So all we need to do here is tap on it. And you can see our battery is at 100%. Tap on the three dots at the top, tap on edit, and here is where we can change our name. So we're just going to type in master blinds and tap on save. Alright, so the smart things portion is done, so we can close that. And now the next part is plug in this cord here to your motor. And what I like to do, mine has a gap. Um, like right in the front and I can slide it right through that gap and then we can plug in this portion to our motor like that so we have all three installed now we have the solar panel which is the white cable we have the battery and we have the um, USB plugged in here which will allow you to charge from here because remember we were charging from here before um, now we will be able to charge right through this wire and from the outside of the blinds. And then also this um, portion over here allows you to do everything you can do right here from this one button as well. So now that we have all of our wires, all we need to do is kind of just open the blinds a little bit. 
just like that. And I like to just start the top, like each side of the motor at the same time. So you can see it's kind of like wedged in there now. And if we just push down evenly, it'll just snap right into place, right into your head rail, just like that. And you want to make sure that your rail right here is going to go through your motor and not have to be bent, essentially. You want it to go straight through. Um, if it's too, if the motor is too low, you may need to use this portion right here. And this just sets up into the motor to give it a boost. That way your rail can go straight through. All right, so we're just going to put this in now. And you may just have to slide it a little bit back. That way you have a little bit more rail because you may have to just slightly twist it a little bit or push on it to get it into the slot. All right, so you can see we got it into the slot here. All right, now at this point, the very important thing, if you don't do this, it's not gonna, your blinds aren't gonna work right. So this string right here in the bottom of the blind, this has got to go through, there's a slot on the bottom of the motor. So you just wanna push this over with your finger and you kind of feel when it gets into that slot. And then you have to do the same thing on the other side, just to be sure that you're going to be able to raise and lower your blinds. Because if you don't do this, you're not gonna be able to lower them when you reinstall them. All right, so now we got that done. All right, so that does feel pretty good. And we can actually slide our motor a bit closer over to here. All right, and we can move our solar panel to the back side. And then what I've been doing is I've been actually installing the battery on the other side of this part here. It's a little tight to fit in here with all of the wires the way my blinds are. Uh, so I've just been installing it on the end. So all we have to do with that is remove the sticky part on the back. And what you wanna do is kinda of push it against the wall, just like this, and then slide it down the wall. That way you're as close as you can be to the wall. Because your rail has still got to go right through here. So you gotta be very careful that you don't mess with that. And then what I do is I take this red and black wire, push it onto the back side of this part, and then you can push this back in. Make sure that's good and tight. Some of these, sometimes these pop out because we had to separate it quite a bit to put in the motor. But that is good now. And now you want to just push your rail through here, just like this. And you wanna pay attention specifically to how this one is oriented and you wanna orient this one the same way. So this is slightly tilted back. So we wanna make sure it's exactly the same. And you can see right when we go through here, it's not going to touch this, it's super close. Um, the last thing you want to do is turn this to be on. If you don't turn the battery on, you're gonna have to take the whole thing off and do it again. All right, and now we can just add our end caps back. All right, so now we just need to reinstall our blinds. All right, so now what we need to do is calibrate the blinds. Manually calibrate by five quick presses to the charge adapter button. Now the charge adapter button is just this button over here that we installed. So we're just gonna do one, two, three, four, five. All right, so you can see there, it kind of opened and closed, and now it kind of knows what is open and closed. All right, so now you can see we can control it with the app. So we have the app open. I just closed the blinds here. Now we can also open the blinds just by tapping open. So it's not exactly straight, so we're gonna go and adjust a couple things. Also, I don't want the blinds when they close to tilt this way because the sun comes you know, from the sky down I want them to tilt up so when the sun comes, it hits the blinds and the sun can't come in. So we're just gonna go up to the three dots at the top here 
and we're going to go into settings. Um, you have reverse, so I'm going to turn that to be on. And then your default value on, I'm going to turn that to be, instead of 50, I'm going to change it to be 55. It's just going to depend on your blinds a little bit of what setting is best for you, but you can change it to be whatever you want. And you can also use any percentage in between there in automations and stuff like that. We're just gonna tap on the back button. And now we're gonna tap the close button. And what should happen is they should go forward, not down. All right, so there you can see they went up and you can see that's at zero. Now let's go ahead and open them real quick. All right, so you can see they're open now and 55 is really good. It's like. If I'm standing right in front of it, I can see only the end of the blind, not any of the back of it, and that's exactly what I want. So that is how you install them. Obviously, you can set these up with Alexa. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I read everyone's comments, and I respond to every single comment. Also, check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.